Ever wondered what it would be like if all the developers on your team knew how to write secure code? Imagine how much time you could save in security testing, reporting and remediation if the apps you build have secure architecture, effective access control and solid encryption for sensitive data. Your developers know your software inside out. They are obviously the best people for the job. But there's a problem. Developers don't really care about security. That's not a criticism by the way. They already have so much going on that it's difficult for them to learn software security and implement it. You need to have somebody who's already a developer on the team but who's also interested in security to actually get the other developers to take security seriously. Basically, your very own sleeper agent in the dev team. You need a security champion. My name is Anish Bhargav and this is the first of a three-part series on how to build your very own security champion program. In this video, we're going to talk about who a champion is, why you need them, and how to recruit champions in your team, plus some key tips to keep in mind. First, who is a security champion? Like I said, a champion is a reasonably experienced developer on the team who has a serious interest in security. Once you give champions training, it's their responsibility to push for better security initiatives in the dev team and take up security as their responsibility. There are four benefits to having security champions on your team. 1. They're a central point of contact for your security team. Security champions can act as the middleman between the security and the engineering teams, helping both of them communicate and collaborate effectively. 2. They reduce the burden on the security team. There's usually way fewer security engineers compared to developers, which means they often have too much work and are running behind schedule. Champions can have developers build software more securely, reducing the workload on the security team overall. 3. Faster remediation of vulnerabilities Instead of waiting for a security report for every single release, champions can use their security training to find and remediate at least some of the bugs earlier in development. And 4. Champions can help train other developers in secure coding practices. As they get more experience in their role, champions can guide and train their colleagues to be more mindful of the code they write and stick to some key principles of secure coding. Now, the first step to building your very own security champion program is to convince management to support the initiative. There's two reasons why. First of all, a champion needs training in security, which costs money and takes time. Not only that, but the role of a champion is not in addition to their existing role as developer, but it becomes a part of it. That means your champions will have to be a little less productive as developers in order to perform their roles as champions well. When you talk to management at your company, you need to make the business case for creating security champions. Champions can help increase the skill level of the entire team, making it possible for your company to take on more complex and lucrative projects. In addition, giving your clients the assurance of better security can help your company land bigger, better contracts with clients. There's another huge benefit. Champions can help your company grow their resources without increasing headcount. Instead of hiring new security experts, you can just train a bunch of your existing developers and equip them for security. It's important to get the approval of management to start your champions program because this new role will take time, money and resources to set up and implement over the course of several months and continue maintaining over years. You don't want to be in a position where you're halfway through the program and a higher up makes you pull the plug because they never agreed to it. By the way, all this information and much more comes from our ebook, Building Security Champions, which you can download for free right now on appsecengineer.com. Link in the description. Okay, so now that you have the approval of management, let's start recruiting. Remember that a security champion isn't just any developer on the team. They have to actually be interested in security. But how do you identify a good candidate? Here's some tips. Start off by hosting some security talks by experts at your company. Observe how your team interacts with them and try to spot developers who go out of their way to ask smart questions or try to implement what they've learned at work or are being extra proactive about security. This person could be a great potential champion. Another tip is to just send out emails to the whole team, telling them what a security champion is, what the role will be like, and explain the benefits they'll receive. Tell them to approach you if they want to sign up. And finally, just go up to specific team members and ask them. If you think a particular developer is a good fit, ask them if they want to join and give them the marketing spiel. 
Now this is where you really need to put your persuasion skills to good use. First of all, be totally clear about what a security champion's role will look like. There will be a lot of interesting day-to-day -day challenges featuring cutting-edge technology, opportunities to problem solve, and collaboration between different teams in the company. But they'll also have more responsibility and maybe even an increased workload. You definitely don't want someone to sign up for the role only to quit in two months because they didn't know what they were signing up for. But there's an upside to this. Champions will get opportunities their colleagues almost certainly won't. For example, champions will receive hands-on training to become more proficient in security. They'll get a chance to attend and even speak at security conferences or events, and they'll be able to develop a unique set of skills that will help them advance their career much faster. And if management agrees, you could even offer monetary rewards or compensation to your champions. Let me give you a bonus tip on recruiting security champions. Ask them to opt in for the role for a full year every year. Once the year is over, they have to manually opt in again to continue as champion. This stops a non-serious applicant dropping out of the program only after a few months and they get to experience a full year of training and security activities. Your champions will take the role more seriously as a result, but also not feel pressured to keep going after a year if they're not interested. And just one last thing, here's a fun idea to make your champions program more interesting. Design some swag. Start with designing a cute or funny mascot and put your designs on some t-shirts, coffee mugs and stickers. You can give these to champions when they join your program or keep them as rewards for when they complete training milestones. In the next video of this three-part series, we'll be talking about what skills your security champions will need and even more useful tips. Get subscribed so you don't miss it. If you want to start training your champions in DevSecOps, cloud security, Kubernetes and containers and much more, check out AppSec Engineer. We've got nearly 1000 courses, hands-on labs, challenges, and secure coding playgrounds so your whole product team can learn how to build resilient applications on any tech stack. Check it out now with the link in the description and start learning today.